Hey guys, it's Kate and today I'm going to be doing a part 2 of my video that I made about 6 months ago. It's called How I Lost 15 Pounds in 2 Weeks. Since I put that video up 6 months ago, pretty much everything has changed and I have a lot more tips to share with you guys. And I might even make a part 3 of this video since it is super popular. And I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been for the past like... I feel like it's been 4 months. I think it has been. Where I've been for like the last couple months, my camera, I told you guys in a couple videos that it is acting really weird or was acting. Like these black lines would go up and down so I had to get my camera fixed and it's finally fixed hopefully crossing my fingers. School is out soon so I'm hoping to post videos pretty much weekly. I really missed making videos when I didn't have a camera to film on and yeah. Funny story, I just filmed this entire video two times and I did not realize that my card was full. And I'm doing it again. So now I'm just gonna get on with the video. So first thing I wanna say is that my eating habits have 100% changed from the part one of this video. I do not eat junk food anymore. I don't eat like crap. Before I would eat like 1200 calories I didn't care what I was eating, I was eating like cookies, chips, crap like that. But now, I'm a vegetarian. So everybody knows what a vegetarian is, it's not eating meat. I really want to become vegan um, soon, but I sometimes eat cheese and I, I feel really bad about it, but it happens. What I eat in a day pretty much consists of vegetables, fruits, um, water. Pretty much. I love my favorite kind of vegetables are Brussels sprouts and what else do I love? I love kale. That's my favorite. So I'm just going to give you some background info about why I decided to go vegetarian. So one day I just sat down, I was really bored and I started watching a ton of pita videos and let me tell you, three hours of that and six boxes of tissues, I was done eating meat. There was absolutely no way I was eating meat after watching like a million thousand videos. Animals are treated so bad and it's not even humane how they're treated. So I just decided then and there, I'm never going to be eating any meat again and I'm definitely trying to stop eating animal products, but like I said, sometimes I eat cheese and I feel really bad about it, but, but yeah, animals are treated super bad. It's pretty disgusting what they do to them, so meat is a no-go for me. The thing I didn't realize is when I stopped eating meat, I was going to lose a ton of weight. Like, I'm not even kidding. Three days, I lost five pounds. I wasn't even trying to lose weight, so I was pretty pumped about that. But then I looked it up. But I looked up what happened to me, and apparently, don't quote me on this, it's just what I've read on a ton of websites, that when you eat animal products, they do not get digested properly in your system. So when you eat meat, it pretty much just gets stuck all around your body and you're just carrying around extra food waste inside your body. So obviously when you don't eat animal products anymore, there's no chance for that to happen. All your food gets digested properly and hence you lose weight. I was also drinking a ton of water so it was flushing my system constantly. Eating meat also causes heart disease, um, high blood pressure, uh, what is it, high cholesterol, I'm not really sure, but it causes a ton of problems and you should pretty much just stop eating it if you like your body. I don't know, how else to say it? I know pretty much everyone hates those crazy vegans, and I used to too, but honestly, when you start eating vegetarian, you just feel so much better and you understand what they're talking about because what they're talking about may be kind of extreme, but it is true. The second tip I have for you guys is to go to a gym and lift weights. I know in my last video I stressed like crazy that you needed to do cardio. I was doing head training, list training. Seriously, cardio to me now is like Satan's descendant. I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to hear it. Like, disgusting. Cardio is just not happening for me anymore. It takes way too much effort. I know that sounds really bad, but... I just, I can't motivate myself to do it. The reason you want to lift weights is because lifting weights burns calories four times as much than cardio does. Also, don't quote me on that, but I mean, I've read a ton of websites and that's pretty much the motto on those types of sites. So if you're wondering what my routine kind of looks like, I go to a Good Life in Canada. It's a chain gym and every Good Life gym has circuits 
Um, they have one for legs, one for abs, one for full body. It's it's just catered to each body part. I do pretty much all of them, not in any particular order. If I wanted to work abs one day, if I wanted to work arms one day, I just do a bunch of random machines. I've never seen so much weight loss with cardio as I do see with weightlifting, so I'm going to be sticking with weightlifting forever because it's so much easier. It takes so much less effort to just lift weights and to do all the circuits in the Good Life Gym. It really seems to work, so I'll be sticking with weightlifting and the circuits at the gym. This next tip is for people who are eating healthy and also going to the gym and like lifting weights. I recommend taking progress pictures instead of weighing yourself. The reason for this is because muscle weighs way more than fat. Progress pictures are much more helpful than the number on the scale because obviously the number on the scale is not going to be accurate if you're like 100% muscle. The next tip is know the difference between emotionally hungry and actually hungry. So a little thing to realize is when you're bored, you're going to want to eat. A way to know if you're actually hungry. If you're in the kitchen and you see an apple, if you want to eat that, you're probably hungry. If you don't want to eat the apple, you're probably emotionally hungry. And it sucks. Like when I watch Netflix, I want to eat every article of food. Article of food? I don't know. I want to eat all of it. And the next tip, if you're like a huge Netflix watcher, huge movie watcher, eat healthy snacks instead of eating like chips. I used to eat chips and junk and cookies and all that while I watched Netflix. But ever since I started switching them to like carrots and dip, um, like pita bread and hummus, what else do I eat? I eat like um, cooked Brussels sprouts because that's my favorite food or I'll eat baked kale. I mean you're eating extra food but it is a snack. You're eating really healthy if you eat vegetarian anyways. I wanted to address something in this video that I said last video that people were really confused about and thought I was a complete idiot. Negative calories. Yes, negative calorie foods exist. I'll give you an example. Say you're eating a carrot. What is that? Like five calories? You're going to burn more than five calories eating that. So obviously eating that food is negative two calories. And the last little tip that I have for you is keeping a food diary on your phone. If you get the app, my f I think it's my fitness phone, you just type in the food and it comes up, you click on it, it has all the nutrients and you can also set a calorie limit which guides you um, in the right direction. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I tried my best to give the most useful information that I could. Make sure you watch my other videos, give this video a like, and make sure to subscribe. Me and my little puppy wanted to say bye together. My, ooh, she smells like perfume. Oh. It was really popular. <laughs> what is she doing? Yes?